Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks to prevent your YouTube live stream from buffering and stuttering. Stay tuned. Live streaming is a fun and enjoyable way to bring people together and create communities around things you love, such as video games or any hobby or interest you may have. Setting up your live stream can sometimes be a headache and often cause frustration, but hopefully these few tips and tricks will help your live stream run smooth for both you and the viewer. Tip number one, before live streaming, run a speed test to ensure your upload speed is stable and strong enough to support your output settings. Speed test or any other similar online test can be useful in gathering insight to your performance. Remember, the most important part of the test will be your upload speed, as when you live stream, you're pushing data out. Number two, if possible, use a hardwired ethernet connection to your computer that you'll be live streaming from. This will ensure you get the fastest and most stable connection possible. If you can't and Wi-Fi is the only option, ensure there is no interference and that your signal's maxed out. Make sure you use the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band, that will be the best option over 2.4, which can have more interference. Place your modem or router in the same room you'll be streaming from for the best connection. Number three, bitrate. Your upload speed will determine the bitrate you should set your stream for. Many of the popular streaming services and software, like XSplit, will give you recommended settings when connecting and setting up your live stream outputs. It will test your connection, give you recommended bit rates, XSplit also gives you a green, yellow, or red light regarding your connection. Obviously, I can't give you specific numbers as everyone's internet upload speed differs, and your streaming output resolution may be different than someone else's. If you want more recommendations and tips for YouTube stream settings, Google actually has a page. I'll put that link below in the description. Aside from that Google website, which gives you some YouTube output settings and recommendations, I'll also include a website which gives you an idea of bitrate. It's a pretty useful tool, so check it out below. This tool is like a live streaming calculator, allowing you to input some data in, like your upload speed, and then it gives recommendations on your bitrate. It's pretty cool and useful, so try it out. Look for those links below in the description. If you're wanting to stream at 1080p, bitrate should be between 3,000 and 6,000. The lower the number, the more pixelation or artifacts could creep in during your stream. But also keep in mind, the higher the bitrate you go, users with poor internet download speed may get buffering due to their connections. It's really best to find a middle ground. If your upload speed is, let's say, 7 megabits per second, your bitrate should generally be at at least 1,000 kilobits below that. So you want to be streaming at around 6 megabits per second, or 5,500 to be safe. Adding a buffer helps for any fluctuation in your connection speeds. Don't forget, 1000 kilobits equals one megabit. Obviously, you don't wanna go anything over 6000 kilobits for 1080p, as it's really not necessary, unless you want to start streaming in 2K or 4K, which almost no one will be able to watch. One other hint in your streaming software is to make sure you're not using adaptive settings for your output, because the bitrate can fluctuate during that time and that can cause buffering too. It's best to use a constant bitrate setting, so check out that in your streaming software. And that wraps up this video with some tips and tricks to prevent your streams from stuttering and buffering. Hopefully it helped you out. Let me know in the comments below. I'll include one more link in the description as well. This link goes to a video of ours called How to Stream with Horrible Internet. It covers all of the bitrate information, constant, adaptive, and much more. So check it out. Hopefully that will also help you out too. Hit the like button for the episode. Give us your comments below and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.